What's up guys? Russ with rwgresearch.com here. Uh, today, this video is, uh, let's see, today is September 29th, 2011. Um, yes, that'd be the correct date. This is a video for the after show of my live show and also an EPG update. Uh, the first thing I have to say is that uh, Zero Fossil Fuel, uh, you sent me an email, but I didn't get it. So I don't know if I spelt my uh, email address wrong or what. So send me that again. The yeah, email address will be in the description of this video. Anyone else is welcome to email me as well. Um, so this is the third time making this video because the first time didn't work. That was like last Monday or this Monday, uh, this past Monday. Uh, and then I just did another one right before right now and it didn't work. So my phone finally crashed and restarted. Hopefully this one will work. Um, so I want to show you what I did and give you an update of the things that I tried to say in my other video. Uh, first thing I got to say is uh, all of you that got to watch my live show, thank you for coming. Um, unfortunately, I left abruptly. That's not normal for me. Normally, I will give you guys time to, to ask questions and stuff, but my wife randomly thought we needed to go get some food like right now. So that's what we did. I was okay with that. Uh, family does come first. You guys are second. Sorry. But anyway, uh, so we did that. So normally I don't do that, but, uh, you know, thanks for coming. Uh, hopefully Scarecrow gets better. I guess he was ill this evening, so he didn't have a show. So you guys got to come watch me wrap coils, I guess, for those of you who came over. That's cool. Uh, but hopefully Scarecrow will come back just fine. So enough ranting here, talking, blah, blah, blah. Let's get to it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the uh, EPG here and the coil winder. Um, now, I know you guys... We're asking about wire counts, number of turns. Well, I'm not doing number of turns. Um, I'm doing the number of feet on each coil. Okay, so here's what I got. This is what I tried and failed, and this is why I'm not giving you a count right now. Um, this right here is a calculator. Um, if you hit 1 plus 1 and equals, you will get 2. And then if you hit the equals button again, you will get 3. And you hit the equals button again, and you'll get four. And you can count like that. So what I have at the moment is this switch connected to the equals button on this calculator. Now, I try to haul, no, a reed switch and a magnet. I stuck a magnet right here, okay? And it hit this switch, or a reed switch, and it would count. Um, now, here's what I found out. The refresh rate of a calculator... It's not fast enough uh, for the RPMs that this machine runs at. Uh, so if I run at full speed, it stops counting correctly. I did not know this, but a calculator actually has like a refresh rate or a or a time that it needs to think. And most of the time, you're not going to hit equal, 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 equal. Like you don't do that. So the calculator doesn't need to be that speedy. Well, this was a cheaper calculator, and it did not work. Uh, it was so fast that it would miss some of my equal push buttons and failed. So it does not work correctly. The other thing I tried, found this in a drawer, a pedometer. All right, this is a, a counting, you know, you put this on your hip and you walk and it counts uh, your steps. All right, well, I tried the same thing here. Hooked up some wires to the, the hall, uh, the reed switch that was in this device and, you know, hooked it up and thought, well, this will take care of the problem. Same issue. This does not have a fast enough refresh rate. You're not going to be stepping at, uh, you know, 50 hertz. So, this does not have a refresh rate fast enough to work correctly. So I had two things. So I thought maybe maybe it's the read contacts. Not the read contacts. Um, it actually is the refresh rate of the device. So I thought, well, you know, since it's, since it's a read switch, I put this, uh, this limit switch and this uh, counter bar here. As it comes around, it hits the limit switch just like that. Okay. Well, I'll show you what speed I'm running at here. Right? And that is too fast. It doesn't work. Um, but again, I'm not worried about it. I'm doing number of feet on a coil. So here's what I did tonight on the live show. This will be the live show update starting now. Uh, here is the coil winder. Uh, I mean the coil st wire straightener. Excuse me. Um, and I have this counter right here, which is going to be hard to see. But it should be right around 290. All right. And... What that does is gives me a count. Every 23 numbers is 10 feet. So I do 290. That gives me 125 foot of wire. Uh, then I take uh, 
this spool right here. All right, take it off. Uh, put it on my drill. All right, and stick it here and pull the wire out. Wrap it on this. Take the coil of wire. Put it back on here, and then uh, you know start start the process and wrap away. All right, so that's what I did. And I wrapped all these coils. Um, I started on this one tonight, and I got all these done to here. This one I did after the live show. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I did 18 of them in about an hour and a half of if I would work straight. Now, the live feed was like two hours and something. But if I would have stuck to it directly with no communications between trying to talk to people and all this stuff, it would have gone a lot faster. Um... So I'd say about an hour and a half's worth of work, um, and I had to get used to how to do it. And uh, as you can see here, I had to I made these. I didn't make these shims for this, but I made them. These are angled. You can't really tell, but they are angled, and they fit right inside here. And that's how I originally spaced these dividers out. Well, I'm shimming this in here because the divider plates wanted to push over in the front. Uh, a good example is this one right here. You can see how the, the front end is pushed way over. And there's a lot of wire here and none here. <laughs> this is the same amount of wire on both of these, but it's just the way it looks. And as you can see, as I went around here, they got better because I figured out a better and better way to stick uh, these wedges in there. All right, and um, <clears throat> that saved me from the uh, dividers being pushed over. These are glued real well, but when you put that much pressure on here, you can see how I can flex them. They just bend over. Um, they are really stiff, don't get me wrong. It's just that you're compressing sideways, so that's just what's going to happen. Um, other than that, um, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I believe I just mentioned the YouTube videos. If not, I'll mention it again. I can't remember. Um, if you guys send me any YouTube messages, since this is the third time I've done this, I can't remember what I said earlier. But if you guys send me YouTube messages, I have like 135 messages right now, and I'm having a hard time returning those messages. So what I may do is go and just wipe them all out. And if you want to get in contact with me, you have to send me another one. I'm not doing that yet. So until I say do it, um, don't do it yet. Okay? Because so i got to go through there and look through some stuff. The best way to get a hold of me is my email. rwg42985 at AOL.com. The reason it's better is because YouTube messaging is really, really terrible. Uh, I cannot save the email, the message. I can't return it very well because I have to get on YouTube. It, it's very hard. So if you want to get in contact with me, email me. Um, you still may be waiting for a reply, but at least I'll, I'll hopefully I'll get back with you. Okay, so that's it. Um, thanks for watching the live show. If you guys want to see what I did during the live show, you can go back and watch it on justin.tv forward slash rwg research. Okay, <clears throat> it'll be on there for seven days. So today is the 29th of September, 2011. Um, you can go to that link. I'll put it in the description. And watch the rerun and what I did. I suggest starting at the second half. Uh, my internet went down there for a bit. So start at the second half. And, um, yeah, you can watch the first half, but it's kind of blah. The second half, I really get to it. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, Peace out. Um, thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. It's it's remarkable. Um, I really, really mean that. So, peace and love, everybody. Take care. Woot woot! Yeah. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Oh, I didn't tell you. I used up half this roll already. Um, I did a quarter of one half and I calculated that this should last about a half of the EPG so yeah I use up half so this weighs about five pounds or so so that's just the coil so that's not including the rest it weighs a lot more than that total alright I'm gonna let you guys go peace and love guys later